Welcome to the Austin Music Disaster Relief Fund Overview. We will use this video to provide helpful clarifications and preparations needed to be ready to apply for the recovery funding from the City of Austin. This grant is one of several economic recovery resources provided by the City of Austin through a combination of resources from local, state, and federal funds. Residents can visit www.atxrecovers.com to learn more about additional resources available to Austinite. We recognize that Austin's music community is extremely diverse, and we encourage all of our local musicians to apply no matter what genre. So let's jump right on into the program details. To provide some context on the establishment of the fund, City Council approved ordinance number 20200423-67 on April 23, 2020, and they designated $1.5 million for the Austin Music Disaster Relief Fund. This fund provides emergency relief for Austin's most vulnerable musicians that have experienced economic hardship due to COVID-19. Eligible musicians may apply for a $1,000 grant to cover immediate emergency needs. It is important to note that per Austin City Council directive, these grants have been allocated specifically to support Austin's performing musicians on a first come first serve basis. These limited dollars are focused again on the most vulnerable musicians in Austin as defined with those with less than two months of living expenses currently available. Those not eligible to apply are encouraged to again check out our helpful resources at atxrecovers.com. After we engaged our local music industry organization for feedback, the Economic Development Department determined that Music Cares Foundation would be the most appropriate organization to disperse these funds quickly and responsibly due to their expertise and existing infrastructure. Music Cares is a nonprofit charity that has provided more than $60 million in health, financial, and rehabilitation resources to music people in times of need. In recent months, they have even coordinated distribution of COVID relief funds to more than 14,000 applicants nationwide. With decades of experience, Music Cares brings a level of professionalism to ensure that this grant process is successfully distributed. As part of our existing workforce development partnership with the City of Austin, the Austin Music Foundation will provide consultation to potential applicants needing help preparing the documentation for application. This can include assistance in developing an artist bio, creating a resume, and compiling a list of canceled events, which are all supporting documents that will be uploaded through the application website. We encourage you to reach out for assistance at atxrecovers at austinmusicfoundation.org to make sure you are prepared to complete this application again with all required digital files when it opens on June 8th. Now let's go over the eligibility criteria that's listed on the application. Applicants must live within one of the 10 districts of the city of Austin. This item is included as the funds were allocated to provide support to citizens of Austin, of which the Austin City Council is allowed to geographically govern. Applicants must document their participation as a professional Austin musician in at least one of the following ways at least two years of documentation showing that the applicant has regularly performed as a professional musician. It can be solo, as part of a band, in a recording studio, or live performance to the public audience in Austin. You can have six release recordings or six promotional music videos. Ways that you can document your participation as a, music, a musician can include screenshots of canceled events, Google calendars showing canceled shows, liner notes, news articles, letters from band leaders, members, venues, or employers, 
and a list of songs. They can be uploaded to SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes, Bandcamp, or other digital formats. You will also have an opportunity to make notation of your financial circumstances in your own way in your application. There is not a specific number of circumstances that will immediately disqualify you from this grant, but applications will be reviewed on an individual basis. For example, a nest egg for savings, taxes, a joint checking account, or pension will not immediately disqualify your application. The most important element to note on eligibility is that your work experience is based on any of the above listed documentation submitted with your applications. Again, musicians are not required to submit each item on the list of eligible documentation. Now, let us take you through the process of completing the application online. The application will again open on Monday, June 8, 2020 at 10 a.m. The link to complete this application can be found at www.atxrecovers.com. Austin musicians, we encourage you to prepare your answers and documentation in advance by reviewing the checklist prior to the launch date. So here's a preview of what the application will look like on the website. Standard program information and eligibility requirements as listed on the City of Austin's website are listed here. As a reminder, fields in red are required. You'll need to include your legal name, your Austin home address, a mailing address for where the check will go if it's different, two phone numbers. Those phone numbers can be the same your email, and your date of birth. City of Austin district destination is definitely key. It is important to note again that these funds were allocated for the Austin Music Disaster Relief Fund to citizens of Austin, of which the city council is allowed to geographically govern. And again, it is an item that is required for completion. The application will ask you for gender, ethnicity, and moves on to questions about income. You'll answer questions about your marital status, average monthly household income, unemployment, monthly expenses, and whether or not you have two months of expenses in your bank account. Please be prepared to complete these questions honestly. And please note that there's not a specific number entered into those fields that will automatically make your ap application ineligible. And there will be an opportunity for you to elaborate on your circumstances in a later field. You will also be asked to self-identify as a member of any of the below listed music organizations. But again, you do not need to be a member of these organizations to be eligible. Now the application now moves on to your work experience. You should include how many years you have performed music, your instrumentation and performance process, primary genre, you'll be asked to provide a work history in the music industry and whether or not you are currently employed outside of the music industry. Finally, you describe how you were affected financially by COVID, no one else. The last piece of your application is a list of required documents. You must include a bank statement, detailed music industry background, a biography, resume, a discography, and documentation of lost income. Screenshots of any of these documents are acceptable form of submission. Again, uploaded document formats can include a PDF, a doc, a docx, JPEG, GIF, or PING. Please be sure to contact the Austin Music Foundation at atxrecovers at austinmusicfoundation.org if you need any assistance in providing any of this documentation. Let's go over the review process. Upon submission, applications will be time stamped and the first 1,500 qualifying applicants will receive a $1,000 grant. It will take Music Cares about an additional week after applications close to process them all and checks will be sent in the mail. 
now that we wrapped up the application review, let's discuss frequently asked questions to help clarify eligibility for the Austin Music Disaster Relief Fund. You can also find these frequently asked questions listed on the Austin Music Disaster Relief Fund website. Why must two months of income be noted? Is this with consideration for a debt, future losses, unemployment benefits, joint checking accounts and savings? It's important to make notation of your circumstances in your application. While there is not a specific number or financial circumstance that will immediately disqualify you from receiving a grant, each application will be individually reviewed by the Music Care Foundation to determine eligibility. Well, I've already received a Music Care's COVID-19 grant. Why can't I apply for the Austin Music Disaster Relief Fund? This determination was made by the City of Austin and the Music Cares Foundation with consideration for the nationwide list of Music Cares applicants, including those in Austin who have already received a grant and the most vulnerable Austin musicians who have an immediate need and have not yet received a grant from Music Cares. Why is this fund only provided for musicians? The Austin Music Disaster Relief Fund, per City Council Ordinance Number 2020-04-23-067, allocates $1.5 million in emerging reserves, specific, emergency reserves specifically to musicians. Why must a musician live within the 10 districts of the City of Austin to receive a grant? Funds were allocated for the Austin Music Disaster Relief Fund for citizens of Austin, of which the Austin City Council is allowed to geographically govern. What qualifies as a release song? Does an original song released on SoundCloud count as a release? Yeah. Songs released on SoundCloud, iTunes, Spotify, Bandcamp, and other audio distribution outlets will be acceptable as audio releases. Does a letter from someone in a band in which you played live gigs for two years suffice for the two years of documentation requirement? Yes. A letter confirming musician employment from a band leader or a band member Live music venue or other employer is among the items that can be included in your supporting documents in your application. Who's eligible to receive funds from the Austin Music Disaster Relief Fund? Musicians with at least two years of documentation showing the applicant has regularly performed as a professional musician, solo or as part of a band, in studio recordings or live performances to public audiences in Austin, or six release recordings, singles, or six promotionally released vi music videos are eligible to receive funds. Who is considered Austin's most vulnerable musicians? Any Austin musician who meets the minimum eligibility criteria and who has less than two months living expenses available today. Uh, bank statements and other documentation will be required for verification. Can individual members of bands apply to receive the Austin Music Disaster Relief Fund grant? Yes, any Austin musician who meets the minimum eligibility criteria may qualify to receive funding as long as they regularly perform solo as part of a group and live performances to public audiences in Austin that are advertised and promoted to the greater Austin community. Examples of eligible musicians include backup singers, DJs, drummers, singer-songwriters, drag performers, etc. Anyone on stage performing for a public audience as part of a musical performance. How will the Austin Music Disaster Relief Fund applications be reviewed and approved? Applications will be received, sorted by identifying question to determine immediate need, and then processed on a first come, first serve basis as time stamp at completed application submittal. Do I need to be a member of a music trade organization to be eligible for the Austin Music Disaster Relief Fund? No, memberships are not required. Working musicians who meet the eligibility requirements can submit an application. Applicants who are members of various trade organizations may enter that information on the application, but this information will only be used for reporting purposes. Do I need to repay the dollars received through the Austin Music Disaster Relief Fund? No. The awardee does not need to pay back grant funds to the city. Are grant funds considered taxable income? Nope. Cash grants are not classified as income. Can I apply for a grant for multiple members of my band? No. 
all musicians must individually apply for a cash grant. As we wrap up our overview of the Austin Music Disaster Relief Fund, be sure to review the website for eligibility criteria and grant details to help you prepare your documents for application submission. The Austin Music Disaster Relief Fund website also includes a helpful checklist of acceptable documentation. Contact the Austin Music Foundation if you need assistance in providing any of this information and documentation. You can send them an email at atxrecovers at austinmusicfoundation.org. We hope that you found this video helpful as you, again, prepare your documents and information in advance to complete your application for the Austin Music Disaster Relief Fund. As a reminder, the application will be live on our website at atxrecovers.com on June 8th at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Let us know if you have any other questions by contacting us by phone at 512-978-7769 or by email at musicdisasterrelief at austintexas.gov.